President Obama's in London, offering advice on whether the Brits should stay or leave the European Union. Please stay, he says. You Brits have to help with migrants and climate change. Let me tell you, that's not going down well over there. President Obama meeting with the Queen this morning. His visit is not entirely social. He's in Britain trying to persuade the Brits not to leave the European Union. He wrote this in a British newspaper, The Telegraph. Here we go. You should be proud that the European Union has helped spread British values and practices. The European Union doesn't moderate British influence, it magnifies it. Ah, oh. oh, questionable. Oh. He then went on to talk Iran and climate change. Listen to this. Quote, when we negotiated the historic Iran deal, the EU's seat at the table magnified the United Kingdom's voice. Yeah, but was it a very good agreement? And then the climate agreement, he says this, when the climate agreement in Paris needed a push, it was the EU that helped make that agreement possible. But again, was it a decent agreement? Tammy Bruce is here. I'm trying to restrain myself, but I can't restrain you. Go. It's, it's ins the insulting nature of that. In other words, you by yourself, you know, Great Britain in England, will never have the same kind of impact as if you were with the EU. That this is the way that you can expect to barely have any kind of influence. And remember, he snubbed Netanyahu when Netanyahu dared to come to America to influence American policy Good point and there he yeah, is stepping the right on in there the patronizing nature of this yes, is some, remarkable some British lawmakers calling it complete arrogance yes I heard that yeah. That's right. and listen to this uh, there are Brits of course who want to leave the European mm -hmm. Union mm -hmm. they are angry at President Obama for getting involved oh, listen to this monstrous interference I'd rather he stayed in Washington, frankly, if that's what he's going to do. I mean, come on, you know, you wouldn't expect the British Prime Minister to intervene in your presidential election. You wouldn't expect the British Prime Minister to endorse one candidate or another. Yeah, I think the man's got a point. That's Nigel Farage, though. He's yeah. got a point. Yeah, this is, this is the problem with Mr. Obama in the sense that he feels that he can do whatever he wants, he can interfere wherever he wants, but there is an interest with some individuals like Mr. Obama, who they don't want real singular uh, uh, responsibility, like they want the UN to do things, they want the EU to do things, and that means that they then don't have to be as serious on certain issues. The world is changing, individual countries clearly have to be involved, because as you're, you're right, the decisions being made by the EU and the UN are not good decisions, and we've got to be able to hold people in countries we, accountable. Uh, uh, Ashley, mm. you and I both have British accents, born and mm -hmm. raised in England, but yep. we're Americans. I want Britain to have its sovereignty back. Yes, yes. Exactly. I want our part, their parliament, I've got to say it right, their parliament should pass laws for their people. Exactly. And not be subject to the laws of some foreigners. That's the, exactly the right. Boris Johnson, the mayor of London today, really just sounding off on President Obama saying, push off. <laughs> push off, that's basically. Politely. Yeah. Now, wait a minute. Did you see this? Uh, I, I'm going to have the audience look at this. No. President Obama, uh, President and Mrs. Obama, mm. they helicoptered onto the lawn of Windsor Castle. As oh. you can see, they were greeted by the the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh. Then they jumped into that Land Rover right there. And guess who drove them away? It was the Duke of the Edinburgh, Duke. Yeah. who happens to be 95 years old. Yeah, it's a short drive from there to the castle, yeah. but, but that's pretty unusual. The Queen drives as well, by the way. She often turns up at church driving. Um, they both right. love to drive. Where was the Secret Service allowing the President of the United States to be driven? Holding their breath. 95-year-old guy. <laughs> anyway, we thought we'd show you that. Now,